Hello. Welcome to Kid Life. Come on in. We're gonna have a licking good time. Let's pray. Hello, my friends. Before we get started, let's pray. Bow your head and close your eyes and let's pray together, okay? Lord, I thank you for all my friends that are here today, that are watching and having such an absolute great time learning all about you. Bless them today, Lord, and let us have fun and let us connect together. We love you so much. In your name we pray, amen. All right, boys and girls, let's get warmed up with our hands. Let's do open, shut them, all right? I'm gonna try to catch you. I'm really fast, but I know you are really fast too. Here we go. Goes like this. Open, shut. Open, shut. Give a little clap. Open, shut. Put them in your lap. Make them spiders. <gasps> Creepy crawl. <laughs> Are you ticklish? <gasps> Creepy crawl them. Creepy crawl. <laughs> right up to your chin. Open up your great big mouth. Ah, uh, but do not let them in. And we don't ever want to put our hands in our mouth anyways, right? Because <laughs> that puts germs in our mouth. <gasps> Ready? Oh, pitch up. Oh, pitch up. Give a little clap. Oh, 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 pitch up. Put them in your lap. Great job. Hey, boys and girls. I know you're not used to seeing me here for the mystery box, but Pastor Anna asked me to do this, and so I guess I'm going to do it. I just don't know where to begin. Uh, oh. Of course, <laughs> I've got to get Vern out. <laughs> uh, where's Vern? Oh, Vern's in the box. Um, uh, Mr. Vern, uh, Mr. Vern, we need you to set. Um. Vern's sleeping. I think he's probably dreaming about worms. Oh, okay. Um, well. I'm sure I could do this. It's no problem, right? Uh, let, let's see here. Um, uh, oh, oh! I bet we're supposed to look in the mystery box first here, because uh, there's going to be something inside of it, right? <laughs> there is. <laughs> there's nothing. Okay. All right. Nobody panic. Nobody panic. Because there, there's a clue for the mystery box, <laughs> and the clue today is. Um. Uh, you're not gonna believe this, but um, the the clues written in some weird language. Oh, is this Vernonese? Oh man. Oh boy. Okay. All right. Vern's sleeping. There's nothing in the mystery box, and I can't read the clue. Okay. What do I do from here? Um. What what would Pastor Anna do? Hit it. Mystery box. Mystery box, wonder what's inside. What do you think, little froggy? <gasps> mystery box, mystery box, wonder what we'll find. What are we gonna do? Read a clue, take a guess. We'll find out what it is. Can you help me sing? Mystery box, mystery box. Wonder what's inside. Oh boy, what's it gonna be? I think it's gonna be a worm. <laughs> we know that, <gasps> but Let's read the clue. Froggy, can you help get the clue? Read it. Oh, good. Okay, thank you. You hold the clue. Here we go. <clears throat> There's something in the mystery box that you blow to make a sound. Ooh. What do you blow 
to make a sound. Hmm, what do you think it is? Good guess. Burn? Of course. <laughs> All right, Froggy, you have to help me open up the mystery box. What is it gonna be? Not a worm. No, not a worm. It's, it's a horn. Or oh, we're pretending it to be a trumpet. There's actually two, Vern. One for me, one for you. What is that, Froggy? Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't know he was gonna be with you today. But Froggy can help you hold it. And you know why this is in here? Why, are you gonna start it then? No, it's because we're gonna hear a story about Joshua and Jericho. And see, God gave Joshua a battle plan and it was to march around the Jericho walls and then blow the horn, <laughs> or the trumpet, really, the trumpet. Yeah, like that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so. That doesn't really sound like a battle plan. Well, you know, it probably was not a battle plan that Joshua had ever heard before, but here's the thing, Joshua knew. Joshua knew he could trust God's plans because God's way is best. Remember, we already talked about that a few weeks ago. God knows everything and we can trust him. And if he tells us to do something, then we should obey because we can trust God. All right, I wanna blow my horn. Okay, you try, ready? Here, I'll just go like this. <laughs> like that. All right, I can't wait. Froggy, you horn, hold the horn for him, okay, ready? Um. Oh, Vern, I, I forgot, because you're a puppet, you actually don't have air that comes out. I'm not a puppet. Yes, Vern, you, you really are. I'm not. Yes, yes, you are, but that's all right, you can just, why don't you just make a sound, like pretend to make it, ready? <laughs> yeah, there you go. <laughs> all right, and you know what? It's time to celebrate. <laughs> Do you know what we're celebrating? Huh? We're celebrating God! We're gonna worship! because we love him. Here's a trick question. Do we worship God to earn his love? Nope. No, we don't. No, we can't earn God's love. We worship him because we love him and because he chooses to love us. All right, Froggy, follow me, let's go worship. All right. And I'll go clean these horns so you guys can play with them. All right.
everybody. I need you to sing along with all you got. Here we go. I can love my neighbor because Jesus loves me. I can change the world because Jesus loves me. Sing it again. I can love my neighbor because Jesus loves me. I can change the world because Jesus loves me. We're going to sing to God and tell him how good he is. The sign language for good is this. Watch this. Oh, that means good. Don't get confused with thank you. Remember, thank you is here. But good is starts at the chin and goes down. Help me. Let's worship God. Ready? God, you're so good. God, you're so good. God, you're so good, you're so good to me. Can you help me sing that? God, you're so good. God, you're so good. God, you're so good, you're so good to me. Now we're going to tell him that we love him so, okay? I love you so, I love you so, I love you so, you're so good to me. I love you so, I love you so, I love you so. You're so good to me. Now we're going to sing, I praise your name. I praise your name. Can you lift your hands with me and sing that? I praise your name. I praise your name. You're so good to me. Lift your hands. Ready? I praise your name. I praise your name, I praise your name, you're so good to me. Thank you, God, for your goodness. Thank you so much. Do, 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 do. Time for the Bible story with wonder. <laughs> It is it's time to hear a story full of wonder. There's so much fun we'll have learning together. So let's go down, go down to the clubhouse with Ollie and his friends. Let's go down, down, down to the clubhouse where wonder never ends at the Wonder Clubhouse. I'm Lucy, and my grandma gave us this music player for the clubhouse. Melody? Good morning. Can you please play us some marching music? Playing marching music? How cool is that? I love marching music, so I bought these rhythm sticks to keep time. Can you use your hands and clap along with me? Hands up! One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay, that's great. Now let's go slow. One, two, three, four. Now let's go super fast. One and a two and a three and a four and a one and a two and a three and a four. 
Woof, you guys did great. You can put your hands down now. It's marching music is so much fun. Sometimes I imagine what it would be like to lead a real marching band. Wow, how amazing would that be? Who? Who? It's Ollie. Hello, Lucy. Who? Who? Marching around in time, are you? I sure am, Ollie. I love marching music so much. Marching is lots of fun. Who? Who? So I've got a marching story for you. Listen to this. Just follow me through. Who? Follow me through, follow me through hell. I've got a Bible story for me and you. <gasps> Ooh, hola, friends. I'm Luis the Handyman. And look what I've got today. It's a ram's horn. It's like a trumpet for our story. And boy, is it a story. Do you want to help me build it? Ha <laughs> ha, great. Let's put it on the story fence. Hammers up, little builders. Ready? Uno, dos, tres, hammer. Great job, little helpers. You can put your hammers down. Now, we just need our story tools. We have everything we need. Today's true story from the Bible begins with a guy named Joshua. Now Joshua was the leader of God's army. One day, God told Joshua that he was going to take the city of Jericho. Except, look, the city of Jericho had a huge wall that went all the way around it. It was big, it was strong, and the city was very hard to get into. I don't understand. How can Joshua and his army take the city if there's a huge wall around it? But Joshua trusted that God's plan would work. God told Joshua to take horns like this and march around the big wall blowing trumpets one time a day for six days. What? Blow trumpets in March? <laughs> Joshua didn't understand how God's plan would work, but Joshua trusted God anyway. <laughs> so Joshua gathered his army and got ready to march around the big wall. Everyone stand up. Now get ready to march in place and blow your pretend trumpets. Ready, go. March, 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 march. They march on day one. They march on day two. Day three. Day four. Day five. Day six. And then stop. That was awesome marching. You can sit down now. Great job. <laughs> On day seven, God said, I want you to march around the wall seven times. Then when Joshua says go, give a loud shout. Okay, but not until Joshua says go. <laughs> so Joshua still didn't understand. How would shouting and trumpets break down a wall? But Joshua trusted God. So they started marching around the city Ooh, can you count with me? They marched around the city. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then Joshua said, go. Everybody shout. wall came down. They won. Great job, everyone. Woohoo! Wow. God is amazing. 
Sometimes we may not understand how God's plan will work, but we can trust God. Hey there, Ali. Tell me, who can trust God? I can trust God. Yes, it's true. Now let's hear it from you. Tell me, who can trust God? I can trust God. That's the truth, friends. You better believe it. Adios. So there's your story, and it's all true. Joshua trusted God's plan, so he went for a long march. Who? Who? Thanks, Ollie. Goodbye to you. Who? Who? Wow, Joshua trusted God's plan and marched around the walls, and they fell down. I can trust God's plan too. I think I got the story. Did you get it? If you did, say got it. Get it? Got it! Good! Maybe God has a plan for me to lead a marching band sometime. I better keep practicing. Melody, play another march, please. Playing marching music. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two. God, I am not afraid. Psalm 5611. I trust in God. I am not afraid. Psalm 5611. Goodbye, good licking. See you next time on Kid Life.